guys, welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 3 with Haley and we are picking up after I have done a crap ton of research. Oh my god guys. Okay, like this title says, we are going to do the path to HECF, what's it called? HECF? <laughs> HECF 251 fuel, which is the quest item needed to um, advance in the advanced resources chapter. So, I'm going to, this is going to be a long episode, or not a long, I may break it up into two parts, but let me go ahead and just walk down the path. For those of you that are doing this um, particular quest line and you need help in it, I'm going to do, at the beginning of the episode, I'm going to walk through all of the ingredients and where I started. Hopefully this is going to be the simplest version to get there. Okay, first off, uh, last time we had, well, the last couple episodes, we used a vision reactor to make the HEU fuel. So if you want to go back and watch the last episode, not the episode before that when I melted down the reactor, <laughs> but the last episode, uh, because you're kind of going to need that. So let me just uh, walk through this real quick. HEU-235 fuel is a, one of the basic fuels, really easy to make. It just requires, uh, how did I make that? Uh... Basically, you need a uranium, 235, and, wait, hang on, let me make sure I said, uh, so, <laughs> you made the uranium 235 and uranium 238, which you get those by getting the tiny clumps of uranium, by putting in the isotope separator, uh, uranium, you can use uranium, or uranium dust, or uranium, or, ur or, um, your lower to be able to get the 238 and 235. So you need that because uh, you're going to need those. You're going to need the uranium 238 in this grouping that I'm going through. So make sure you do that. Um, so make sure I'm getting that. Yeah, uranium will give us 238. Okay, so in this path, first thing we're going to do, we're going to need thorium 232. Uh, so the way to get thorium 232 Thorium-232. I know I could have put it all over here on the bookmarks, but I'm just going to kind of walk through this. Thorium-232 is the easiest uh, easiest thing to get because you're going to take the tiny clumps of your th thorium, going to take thorium, and you're going to put it into, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Going to take, oh gosh, I had this. Okay, there we go. You're going to take a thorium ingot and put it into the isotope separator, and that's going to give you thorium 232. So you're going to take thorium 232, and you're going to need nine of these to make what's called TBU fuel. You guys taking notes? I hope you're taking notes because again, I'm going to go through this part here, and then the last half of the episodes, we're going to walk through it just to make sure that you work, but it should work. So you're going to take the TBU fuel, the TBU fuel, and if I hold shift, it gives you information about this fuel. So we're going to put this in the fusion reactor because we want to deplete it. Now, it's going to generate so much power. It has um, base heat generation of 18 heat per tick. So in the setup we had last time, I think we're actually have a negative 840. But again, you just want to be able to use this to be able to deplete that particular fuel. So again, let me go here. Uh, it takes about a minute and a half to make this you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and do this now I'm going to put some thorium into that so that'll be going while, while we're doing this thorium thorium guys if you remember if you need help on remember how to make the thorium uh, thorium is actually uh, just done by making the uh, condenser. Yep, you make the thorium alchemical dust and the condenser so I'll probably have plenty more over there but we're going to put the thorium in the what did I say um, the isotope separator. I'm looking at my notes, so guys, I'm going back and forth. So we're going to put this in the isotope separator. So we'll get uh, the machines that we need. Let's put these uranium items up. Okay, 230. I'm okay, so we're going to take the TBU fuel. We're going to put it into the reactor, in the fission reactor, and it's going to deplete it down to depleted TBU fuel. Now, when what we're going to do with the depleted TBU fuel, we're going to put that into the fuel reprocessor. We've made all these machines before. Now, when we put the, the, the depleted TBU fuel in the fuel reprocessor, it's going to give us tiny clumps of uranium-233, tiny clumps of uranium-235, tiny clumps of neptunium-236, and tiny clumps of neptunium-237. All these materials are great. They're going to be used for other types of fuel, but the one we're going to concentrate on is the uranium-233. We're going to take the uranium-233, and we're actually going to make uranium-233. Very important. See, nine of those seem simple so far. We're just going to follow this path, guys. It's going to get us to where we need it. 
Now, we're going to take the uranium-233 and the uranium-238. Remember, we made that earlier. If we combine that together, we can make something called LEU-233 fuel. So uranium-233, you just need one of those, and the uranium-238. Now, see, it kind of goes back and forth between oxide and regular 238, but we're just, we're not doing any oxide stuff. There's a way to do it, but we just want to go strictly uranium throughout this process. Uh, so you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uranium 238s and one uranium 233. And that's going to give us LEU 233 fuel. Okay. Everybody guys, you got that? Taking notes? Check mark? Good. And um, so now we're going to put this in the fission reactor. Now I'm going to hold shift over it. So it's going to tell us some basic information about it. It takes about 45 seconds to uh, deplete this down. It's going to produce like 1400 power. This is the base. And the way the base is, remember, it's just if you have one fuel cell in there, this is what it's going to basically generate. And it generates 60 heat per tick. So we want to make sure we keep it cool enough to, and remember, I think our reactor is cooling up to 840 heat per tick. So we're, our reactor's pretty much overcooling for what we need, but we're just trying to de deplete these fuel items. Okay, so we're going to deplete this in the fission reactor, fission reactor, and it's going to give us a depleted LEU fuel. And then we're going to take that LEU fuel and we're going to put it back in the reprocessor. Everything goes in the reprocessor. And that's going to give us tiny clumps of plutonium-239, plutonium-241, plutonium-242, and American, Americunium, I know I'm saying that wrong, 243. Okay, everybody got that. So the two things that we're looking for on this is the tiny clumps of 241 and the tiny clumps of 242. Those are the two things we're trying to get out of this piece of depleted fuel. So what we're going to do with each one of those, let me go over here, keep scrolling. It's about 19 steps, guys, <laughs> so bear with me, but this will get you there, trust me. Okay, so we're going to take the, the plutonium-241 and the plutonium-242. We're going to craft those to get each one of these, basically a basic plutonium. So take the tiny clumps, each of the tiny clumps, nine of those will get you the main um, ingredient. So we're going to take plutonium-241 and plutonium-242. And we're going to use those to craft an HEP-241 fuel. So make sure you get the right one. HEP-241 fuel. So each of those takes four of the plutonium-241s. And it takes five. Make sure. Yeah. Make sure that's I'm locking back and forth of the plutonium-242. Again, you can choose between the oxide and the non-oxide ones. But we're just getting the non-oxide ones in the process that we're going. So that's going to give us an hep 241 fuel okay guys you ready you good guess what we're going to do with that fuel we are going to deplete it we're going to put that into the uh, reactor now this one has a base heat of 420 heats per tick so remember you want to make sure that your reactor cools off at least 420 heats per tick in order to um to deplete it it's going to take about 40 seconds to deplete it 0.69 minutes to get that depleted but once you actually deplete that, again, I'm going to put in the fission reactor to deplete it. It's going to give us a depleted HEP-241 fuel. And guess what we're going to do with that? We're going to put that in the fuel reprocessor. Everything, basically, we're making a fuel. We're depleting it. We're putting in a fuel processor. We give us some little materials to make another fuel to deplete it to put in the fuel processor. It's just a vicious cycle. Okay, we're getting really close, guys. I know we're about halfway through this episode, but we're getting really close to what we need. Now, so when we deplete this, it's going to give us tiny clumps of americurator, I can't pronounce that, uh, 241. It's going to give us curium-245, curium-246, and curium-247. Okay, we are so close, guys. Trust me, we're really getting there. What we're going to do, we're going to focus on these bottom two, the curium-246 and 247. 246 and 247, those two, curium-246, curium-247. Guess what we're going to do with those? We're going to craft curium-246 and curium-247. Those are the two things that we need, curium-246 and curium-247. We're going to use those items to craft another fuel. We're going to craft the LECM, make sure I get the right one, L, we want the LECM 247 fuel. Let me make sure I get that. I think it's going to be pretty far down here. LECM 247, so 243, 245, 247. There we go. LECM 
247 fuel. This is the fuel that we're trying to get, guys. Again, I'm going to say it again. L-E-C-M 247 fuel. And the way we're going to craft that, we just need a one of the 247s. And the rest of these are all 246. So we're going to need curium 246. We're going to need eight of those in order to get this. So hopefully you guys are taking notes. If you got that, good. Okay, ready to go. All right. Now, guess what we're going to do with that fuel? We're going to put it in a fission reactor and we're going to deplete it down to depleted LECM 247 fuel. Whew. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're so close. We are like three steps away, I promise. Okay, so we're going to deplete that down. And when we deplete it, we're going to take that depleted fuel and we're going to put it back in the fuel reprocessor. And that's going to give us tiny clumps of berkelium-247, tiny clumps of berkelium-248, californium-251, and californium-252. So what we're going to focus on here. We're going to look at these two bottom ones. We're looking at the Californiums, both the 251 and 252. Now, this is where we were trying to get to, guys. We are like, it's like right there. I can taste it. Mm, should I show you? Yes, I'm definitely going to show you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take each of these tiny clumps and we're going to make the actual Californium. We're going to take the 241 and 251, sorry, and 252. Both of those will take nine of the isotopes there. And with that, we can craft... Where is it at? It's almost here. I know. I see it. Uh, we're looking for the next one. Right here. Right here, guys. HECF 251 fuel. It takes four of the Californium 251s and five of the Californium 252s, which is what we need for the quest. All right. Did you guys take all those notes? Did you get it? All right, let's put it into action. Let's do this. All right, so we about halfway through this episode, we're going to see how far we can actually get. I wanted to at least lay it out for you because those of you that may be Googling this and trying to find it, I don't want you to have to watch a 30 minute video. There's the layout for it. If you want to do it with me, if you want to leave your comments down below, if there's an easier way to get there, let me know. But this is the simplest way I could find to get there without having to do oxide, without having to do like all these different ones. I tried to work backwards, but I figured it out. Okay, so I put my thorium over here. So let's go ahead and start back at the top. We're going to take the thorium ingots. We put it into the isotope separate. It's going to give us the uh, thorium 232. Now, there is a certain number that I actually need. I have not calculated the math on it. I was just kind of happy to get this. So I'm actually going to just keep this going. I've got more thorium over here. I've got thorium up there. I've got thorium in here. Let me go ahead and just put this here. Because we're going to need a couple of these. Now, I think I still have some thorium from when I was actually pushing here. Oh, yeah, I got three stacks. Let's put these back in the system so we have that handy. And I'm going to put another stack over here in the isotope separator just to get that going because we got to make four of these fuels. So we're going to have to kind of go back. It doesn't take much, uh, but, you know, we're going to get there. So we're going to go ahead and make one of these. We're just going to go through the process. Now, we want to deplete this thorium fuel. So we're going to go over here and we're going to put it into our reactor. Now, the fuel here, it says it has a base power of 600 RF per tick and 18 heat per tick. Now, remember, I have two cells in here. I don't have them touching each other, so I'm not going to get the full aspect of it. I'm not caring about the power that it generates. I just want to do this. Now, there's no fuel in here right now. So if I shift right click, I now have fuel in here, TBU. So should TBU fuel in here. It's going to give me 1200 RF per tick and it's going to have a 800, a negative 800 heat per tick, which is fine. Now this is going to take, uh, I think I'm going to say about a minute and a half is what it said. Um, yeah, about a minute and a half to get that done. So I'm going to just chit chat for a little bit. <laughs> I should have had that going. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to wait for that to get done. Hang on. My timer's still going. Yeah, my timer's still there. Um, okay, so let me put some of these machines up. I was kind of playing around with some things to get them going. Um, but uh, we should be good here. I know I should be watching the reactor, but we're fine. We're totally fine. We're, it's cool enough. Nothing's going to melt. Nothing's going to blow up. We are uh, just about done here. Yeah, the minute and a half goes fast when you're just chit-chatting away. Now, so we're going to take the TBU fuel, once the depleted TBU fuel here. Uh, come on. I hear the Geiger counter going. And there. Deplete it. TBU fuel. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Just, you know, always turn off your machines when you get done with them. Uh, so nothing bad happens. We're going to take the TBU fuel. We're going to put it into the 
fuel fuel reprocessor I'm check my notes there put it in the fuel reprocessor now I don't have my speed upgrades in here I think I made some more but it goes pretty fast you remember these machines you can put in speed upgrades as well as energy upgrades to um, you know to kind of keep the power in check but we're good on power we're generating so much power it's ridiculous I don't even have the power that's coming out of the reactor into these machines this is all still coming from the quantum solar panel so that's you know amazing how well this is doing all right, so the fuel reprocessor is done. It's given us the tiny clumps. Let's see, we were looking for uranium-233. Now, so I want to take, now notice there's only 16 up here. Keep in mind these numbers. You have to go back and calculate how much you're actually going to need. But we need to go ahead and make uh, uranium-233. It only takes nine of them to make them. Now, I'm going to actually see, because I'm going to put another fuel over here, uh, just to keep that going. Now again, it's gener I'm wasting power. I understand I'm wasting power, but uh, I need it to keep it going. So let's go ahead and go over here. And uh, let's go ahead and craft. Well, the next step we're trying to make is the LEU fuel. To make the LEU fuel, let's see, LEU, uh, LEU 233, make sure you get the right number, 233 fuel. We're going to need one uranium-233, which we should have enough to make that. And we're going to need the rest of them is going to be uranium-238. I see, I should have a bunch of those. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't have enough of those. Oh, I need to get some more uranium-238. Now, remember how we got uranium-238? We put uranium, uranium, in, uh, let's make sure, uranium-238 is a byproduct of... Uh, let's see. Oh, the depleted HEU-235 fuel. So I'm going to have to get make some more HEU-235 fuel, uh, which I need to put the uranium in here anyway. So let's go ahead and take this thorium out. I think we're good there. So you're going to have to keep uh, the guys, you know, get a good like, number. And I didn't do the math, guys. I'm totally sorry about not doing the math on this. But uh, at least I walk you through what you need to do to get all the parts. It's, it's really very simple once you get there. Okay, so uranium-238. Oh, wait, I get uranium-238 from here. Oh, that's easy. Okay. <laughs> I need uh, how many of those? I need it seven and one, one more, eight. There we go. I don't have to deplete anything. So uranium-238. Okay. So now I should be able to make uh, this fuel. The fuel we're trying to make is the LEU. I'm going to have to keep my spreadsheet over here. It's the LEU-233 fuel. So that should be one of the random 233s and the uh, 238. So we're going to take the LEU-233 fuel. We're going to go ahead and deplete it over here. Let's see. Uh, that one's already done, the TBU. I might need more of those. Uh, this uh, has a heat that it generates of 60 H per T. And it's going to, I see I've got the reactor on. So now I've got negative 720. So um, make sure that you have enough cooling uh, negative energy to be able to make these. Okay, so now we've got, a, we're going to get a depleted 233 fuel. Now I'm going to take this depleted fuel. Come on, deplete, deplete, deplete. There we go. We got our depleted fuel. I'm going to turn the reactor off. And we're going to put that into the fuel reprocessor. See, just a, a cycle of everything going on here. So I put this in the fuel reprocessor. It's going to break it down into those components. We're just trying to get plutonium-241 and plutonium-242. We're coming up on close to the end of this episode, guys. So I don't know if I'll be able to get everything I need because it's going to depend on how many, how many materials this uh, will give us. But at least we'll be able to get all the way down to something <laughs> yeah we're just about halfway through here so i got plutonium 242 and plutonium 241 so i already don't have enough plutonium 241 because i need nine of these to make um or is it 241 i need nine of those to be able to make a regular plutonium so i'm going to have to double up on that uh let's see so that's going to we're trying to actually craft the hep 241 fuel so let's see how much plutonium items I need. ATP-241 fuel is going to take, see I need uh, four of the 241s and four, uh, five of the 242s. Let's see if we have some in our system. Hey, got some uh, achievements there. Okay, so let's see if we can make any of these. Do I have enough in the system to make them? No, not quite enough in the system to make them. Let's put this stuff up, all these little isotopes and things like that. Okay, so uh, but plutonium-242 HEP 1, 2, 4, yeah, 242. Let's see. Oh, 
Wait, wait, wait. Tiny clumps of plutonium-242. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Plutonium-242. Not the oxide. Yeah. There we go. All right. So I need one, two, three, four, five of these. I have plenty. of some more of that left over to make the next one. But to get the 240, 241 fuel, I'm going to have to go back and get some more of this plutonium to plutonium. 241. So we're going to pause here for this episode. I want to hear you guys feedback and comments about how you're doing it. If this if I'm doing it still a very complicated way, but this does get me there again, you're just making the fuel, uh, you're putting it through the fission reactor to deplete it, you're taking that depleted fuel, putting it through the fuel reprocessing to get the little uh, clumpets, <laughs> I want to say little clumpets of things, uh, the little tiny uh, you have the tiny clumps to make your next fuel. So it's just a just really a cycle of different ones. You just need to know what fuel you're looking for. So right now, guys, I am going to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode <clears throat> and, and you're still enjoying the series. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, techniques, or just want to say hi, leave those comments down in the comments field below and I'll get back with you as quickly as I can. If you're new to my channel or you want to um, you know, support me, you can do that. Um, make sure you click the subscribe button. Click the like button and that notification bell to be notified when new episodes come out and if you want to support me by becoming one of my patreons you can do that tomorrow is july 1st it's the best time to become a patreon uh it's the beginning of the month we got all the kinds of new servers that we're going to do remember i'm a member of the squad and the squad offers a vanilla server which i live stream from on saturday so if you want to hang out with me on the vanilla server come and become a patreon we also have the squad pack farm pack that's being reset tomorrow both vanilla and farm pack are being completely reset fresh world get in there to do some stuff check it out farm pack uh squad pack and then we have the enigmatica server which i record with psychic and sarah so you have a chance of getting on one of our servers that we record on and helping us out no red we didn't order anything from amazon <laughs> um yeah so make sure you check us out in addition to those three servers we're adding we're opening up to the patrons a full craft three server that we live stream from on friday Friday. So check it out for that. That is for our Diamond Tier Patreons. And for those of you guys that like to build, we're going to have a brand new server that you will have access to creative. It's called, uh, it's going to be based around Tegan's mod pack. Get creative. You know how awesome Tegan is, how great her mod packs are. She's putting in the updates right now. I think right now as we speak, she's making sure all the mods are updated and she's added a couple of cool new things. So check it out. Tegan's uh, get creative pack is on the curse launcher. And if you want a chance to play on our server, you can become a diamond tier Patreon. So check out the Patreon link below and you'll learn about those rewards. If you want a server to play on with your friends, consider host Havoc. Host Havoc is who we use for all of our multiplayer series as well as those Patreon servers. So be sure to check them out. That's all I have to say, guys. I got a lot of fuel to go through here. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye.